Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to Prospect Central 101. My name is Chris Robbins, and today, continuing our wide receiver blitz, we're going to be taking a look at some Riley Ridley uh, from Georgia. So, for those of you guys who did not see our first video of today, uh, during wide receiver blitz week, we took a look at Tyree Brady from Marshall. And uh, as part two of Wide Receiver Blitz Day continues, we are going to be taking a look at Riley Ridley from Georgia. So, uh, a little bit of background first before we get started on this. Wide Receiver Blitz Day is something I'm doing this year. Uh, last year, we did Blitz Week for Corners. And uh, basically, we just took a look at all the corners, uh, basically like one, one corner a day for like a week. Uh, instead, today, we're going to be doing a wide receiver blitz, and uh, it's going to be a lot of receivers in one day. So, uh, we're going to be continuing that today with Riley Ridley, who was suggested to me from another Lions fan, as was Tyree Brady, by the way. Uh, so, for you guys who are sending in suggestions, props to you guys. Thank you for, very much for the suggestions. Uh, and, of course, we're trying to do who you guys want to see a little bit as well. Uh, who bring wants to cover everything else. And, uh, yeah, so. But I'm also trying to get a feel for the receivers. Uh, props to all you guys who sent in suggestions to do some receiver tape this year. Uh, definitely something I've been working really hard toward is expanding my receiver uh, watching skills, and uh, I've been, obviously, for those of you guys who've been following the channel since last year, uh, you guys know that I've always been more into the corner side, uh, and watching the defensive aspects of this, because I've always been more of a defensive type guy who really enjoys that side of the football, um, but this year I've kind of been switching that focus a little bit after some suggestions from you guys to kind of uh, take a look at the receivers. And especially in good receiver class, it, it kind of felt like that was the right thing to do. Uh, and of course, my football team is Lions. I'm actually wearing a Lions shirt right now. Uh, and uh, the Lions have been looking at some receivers this year. So anyway, without going too much on it, let's actually just kind of get right into Riley Ridley. So uh, there are one, two, three, four, five 2018 games of his up. Uh, how about we start with LSU? We might get to see him a little bit first greedy. Okay, bottom of the screen here. Oh my, okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to replay that again. That looked really quick. Boom! Okay. Um, <laughs> watch. He starts offline here, about two yards back with the lean foot and three yards back with the back foot. Bam! One step, he's like almost at the line of scrimmage. That is incredible motion. Also, again, I love how he's going to really release here off of Greedy Williams. Just watch that left hand, or is that right? That's right hand over the top. Very nice release. Boom, he is so quick off the line. Ah, oh, it's just overthrown by front. Oh, and also I forgot to mention, number eight. Uh, if we ever do lose him. Yeah, at the bottom here. That was nice coverage by Greedy. He seems to have grown a lot this year. He's outside release. That's still my one big issue with Greedy. Oh man, he is so quick. He has an insane first step. Okay, a little bit off center with the blocking on that play. All right, red zone overthrow. Okay, let's see what happens here. Matched up against Williams. I, oh, that was actually really good coverage here by Greedy Williams. 
just does a nice job there of keep, keeping with him. He is able to separate a little bit inside, though, at the end of the play. Nope, oh, he's at the bottom. Getting green, really looking really good so far. Ken, really nice coverage by Greedy. Oh, completely off center. I don't know if that was just he was going for the other guy here. But to me, it looks like he just completely whiffs on this block. Watch here. It looks like he's supposed to be taking out number 9, which, if I remember correctly, is Grant Delpit. And he just backs off. And he takes the guy that was originally on the lineman. Yeah, so that to me looked like a whiff block. So blocking so far is an issue. Oh, what a hit. Top of the screen, motion down. Nice. Is that a hands catch? Yes, it was. Awesome. Good. Like that. Hands catch. Fantastic. And another thing, too, is he makes this catch look really simple. Obviously, that's a really nice tight spiral from Brom, really well placed. Uh, but still, I like how he just makes the really nice, easy, simple catches. Something that we didn't necessarily see from Brady. That is actually a sick play from Greedy Williams. Great pass deflection. Wow, he's really sparking on tape this game. Nice outside release on him there. Overthrown. Good coverage. Just bad throw. I like how he's trying to separate, doing a really nice job of being physical here, both him and Greedy. This is a fun matchup to watch. Oh, man. Can't believe they called that DPI here. Nice job using that left arm to try and get off of him. Yeah, I guess Greedy was being a little grabby here. Um, oh, maybe a little exaggeration. Not there, though. He's just swiping him off. Hmm. If anything, you could have probably called holding. Gotten five yards. I don't know if DPI was the right call. Oh, nice inside release. That was a sick play design by Kirby Smart. Oh, nice cut on the post. To be fair, that's a sick play from the corner. I believe that's Greedy again to stay with him. But I love this cut on this post route. So smooth. Watch this again. This time we'll slow it down a little bit. Boom. Inside cut. Really nice job. Greedy had the outside leverage here. I'm going to play this again. Greedy takes this outside lean. And Riley really is able to... To cut that inside. Boom. Right here. Love the extension here. He's not overextending. Putting himself in risk here. Uh, but at the same time. He does a really nice job. Of uh, using that extra step. To create that separation. Bam. And then right there. For a split second. He's open. And then Greedy does just a really nice job. Of recovering. And getting back to playing him tight. That's a great matchup. I'm really enjoying this game. Got to block a little bit better, though. Got to see more blocking. Nice inside cut. Boom. Really quick. What kind of throw is that, Jake? That's a shake problem, isn't it? I don't think he was hurt this year. Number 11. I mean, to be fair, that's kind of under pressure, I guess. But seriously, you have him wide open. First off, why are you leaving Riley Ridley that wide open? 
There is like nobody on him. Obviously, it's his own place, so I'm not faulting Greedy or anything. He's very clearly in the outside zone. He's on that guy. And probably like to see White come up and make a play here, but. Jeez. And then again, just the throw. <laughs> wow. I mean, okay, let's be fair here to. That's a little bit criticism. He probably could have gone down and dove for that and made the catch. I don't know if that's being too harsh. Maybe you see a little bit more effort from Ridley in trying to go for that, but regardless, I, he should not have to go down for that football. Oh, that was sick. Okay, that's a nice play by Ridley here. Again, nice job winning the outside leverage here. But bam, right here, he does a really nice job with tracking this football. And Griggy just outruns it a little bit too much. And really is able to slow down a little bit quicker than Griggy is and come back and make this play. And then right here, right after making the catch, which by the way looked like a hands catch, I will slow this down for you guys. And right here, he tracks it. And yeah, he's definitely got both of those hands up. Makes the hands grab. And then right here, right after making the catch, he just, well, it slips right out of his hands. Beautiful. Nice aggressiveness there, too. Stays on his feet. Oh man, tons of separation. No one even close. That's a nice ball from Prom, but still, excellent hands catch there by Ridley. Well, this is obviously his own play, judging by Greggy's reaction. Either that or he's coming down on this. So this is this defensive back here. Oh, what a cut from Ridley here. Okay, so that's how he's going to create so much separation. Watch right here. He takes this upside cut, right, but he doesn't go too hard. So it's a nice little quick cut here. But bam, right there, he makes a hard cut with his right leg. And bam, just takes him right outside, or in the inside. Oh, man, what a sick double move from Riley Ridley. He's completely turned around, no chance. What a route from Riley Ridley. Excellent play. Dang. Right on the money from Throp, from Fromm. Beautiful hands catch. Love seeing those hands. Right there, both hands right on the football. Nice job getting him. Ah, oh, excellent, excellent. What a play from Ridley. That's a full three-phase play. This is the ideal three-phase play for wide receiver. I talk about this in every single position. First, you got one off the snap, and we see this right here. Nice couple, really nice job of take, being aggressive and taking this green space. So there's phase one. Phase two. You want to see him win on these cuts, right? Beautiful job getting behind Greedy here on this cut. Then an even better job here. Boom! Just taking that hard cut and being the safety on the hard cut there. So that's winning phase two. Winning phase three, making sure you create, well, I want to say enhance or maximize that separation uh, and put yourself in position to catch the football. And make sure you don't drop it. Finish the play. 
finishes it beautifully with an excellent hand sketch. Phase 1 check, phase 2 good check, phase 3 perfect. Excellent. Very deserved touchdown. Ah. Oh. That's the benchmark play for a wide receiver. One thing I will say, I would like to see him vary his release a little bit more off the snap. He does this little hop step thing very often. Right here, see how he kind of like takes that hop? I would like to see him on some more occasions just take that straight. Uh, or just right inside, right outside, uh, and just be a little bit more. Variant is the word I was looking for. Oh, man. Yeah, I really like Ridley Ha uh, from that game a lot. <laughs> Uh, definitely a three-phase guy there for sure. Really, really fun to watch. Now, we get to see him versus a couple more uh, good corners. I believe Devontae Davis and Chris Boyd uh, both play in this game. I can't, I don't remember for sure. Um, I believe both Davis and Boyd play in this, so we should see him versus a good corner. On every snap. Yep, there was Boyd, number two. I think Davis is 19. Oh, no, 19 is Jones. Blocking. Gotta improve that blocking though. Him and Brady both. Oh, what a cut! Oh man, watch this route from Ridley. I'm actually gonna slow this down. Right here, he starts by winning this outside leverage, which gets Chris Boyd leaning out, right? Boom! As soon as he turns a little bit too hard out, Riley just covers that with his sick inside step. And creates some separation on Chris Boyd. Excellent route. Man. Nice to, oh, you have to catch that, though. An 18, Davis. Okay, so there's shop one. Tons of separation. I will say that much. He does an excellent job with that. But, yeah, he was wide open. Uh, Got to come down with that. So there's shop number one. Oh, nice knockout punch. Oh, missed block. Again with the missed block. Yeah, he's not a blocker at all. Uh, if you want him in on run sex, you need to get him with a blocking coach. On the other hand, he's an excellent receiver. And he shows off why here. I mean, just insane jump off the snap, first off. A nice quick cut on the hitch. Nice hands catch. Love oh, a lot of rack ability there. Nice shot making a couple people miss. There you go. See how he's a little bit more quicker off the snap here? I want to see a little bit more of this when he's in uh, hard coverage. He has a really nice shot of taking the space in soft, in soft coverage. Uh, I want to see him do that a little bit more consistently uh, versus hard coverage too. Same thing. Of course, those run plays. Well, both of them, I believe. Like, see, there we go. I want to see that a little bit more. 
right here. This does a nice job of course board was blitzing, but it doesn't really nice job of taking the space there uh, immediately off the snap. Nice run again. Rackability. Nice shot of slipping that tackle. Right here, simple hitch route. Zone. That's a great way to expose those zones. It's a great play call and a great design by uh, Smart. Slips the tackle at the end. Oh, man. <laughs> what a play call from Kirby. Or his OC. Love this design. Gets this guy down the field out there. Gets this guy underneath out there. Basically putting your... Oh, of course it was a safety over the top. Oh man, deep shot. Just overthrown. Oh, what a cut. And it's brought by Riley Ridley. Oh, oh, did he actually break that? Okay, first off, sick motor. <laughs> oh, whoops, too far. But yeah, right here versus the soft coverage. Just see the explosion, how quick he is to take all that green grass. Love to see that. But right here, nice quick cut back. Probably a little too much body, what we've seen him hands catch before. Oh, yeah. He was never down. What a sick play. Also. Oh. Nice cut. Oh. He can make guys miss after the catch. Oh, man. What a... What a sharp cut. Right there. Boom. Beautiful change of direction. And the acceleration to pick that speed up. He goes from 0 to 60 in a second, man. Oof. Oh, what a cut! That's a sick curl route. Boom! He had him completely turned. Nice shot getting the hands up. Watch this again. Boom! I love his dip here, too. That's not something that I've talked a lot about so far uh, on these videos, because you don't really see a lot with, uh, unless they're like elusive type receivers. And uh, really, he's doing a really nice job of dipping here. So that he can change that direction and spin inside. And that's what allows him to turn Boyd so quickly and so eff effectively while staying efficient at the same time with his movement. It's a very, very technical aspect of his game here. And you see what you got in there. Just excellent. Excellent dip. Almost like a bad dining edge rusher. Oh man, sick cut. You can kind of see at the end. Oof. Number nine has to catch that. That was way underthrown. Okay, nice tackle. Might have some special teams ability with that kind of motor. And yeah, he got hazy throw. That wasn't exactly on from entirely. Probably could have ate it, but. Block. Yeah, not exactly the best blocker. Even you got hands on him here. And even so, he's still more like hand fighting, more so than actually blocking. Uh, so, probably the biggest weakness in his game so far. I mean, <laughs> granted, I'm not saying a lot considering that his, his strengths are so huge too at the same time. Nice hands catch, great route. Nice quickness.
Boom, and again, at the bottom of the screen here, this was Ridley. I'll replay it so you guys can see it. He's going to be right here at the bottom. Boom. Nice extension with the lag. Not over extending, but still getting enough extension to create that extra separation. And boom. Tons of space. So quick. Off the snap. Love how aggressive he is in taking space. Now, see, that's one thing that I noticed with uh, Calvin Ridley last year. Uh, and it looks like based on that play, Riley probably could use some improvement in this area too. And it's why I kind of talk about it with a lot of receivers this year. Uh, so this is my biggest negative with Calvin Ridley, especially this year uh, when he was playing with Atlanta. And I talked about this with uh, Dan really early on in the season. I don't know if he's improved or not in the area uh, since. But watch here. He has all this space, both underneath here and inside. And outside, over the top of this corner, who's probably going to come down and take five. But what he does here is he kind of sticks this route right there and puts number 11 in a really easy position to just kind of undercut this if Fromm ends up throwing it here, which could lead to an interception. Uh, so what I would like to see here is either A, he comes back a little bit more, and especially with it being only second and five, you give yourself a six-yard cushion, which good on you for giving yourself the six-yard cushion. But you can you shouldn't be really afraid to use that in this instance. Uh, or the other option you could do is take this a little bit deeper and kind of change this route after you run it, knowing that you're not going to be open here, and kind of extend this play a little bit and take this out so that you force almost a levels concept of sorts with this guy underneath and this guy in between and you force the uh, defensive back here to come out which almost kind of helps out the tight end too because it gives them a little bit more room to create that space uh, so I really don't like how he kind of cut this inside toward the middle of the field with knowing that the defender's in the middle of the field here and as you can see it almost affect I mean obviously at that point Fromm was kind of already throwing it, so it's kind of irrelevant on this particular play. But it is something that I noticed with Calvin I wanted to bring up again here, because it really Riley does the same thing. Um and I really want to see him find that space and use his vision uh before the catch a little bit more. Especially on curls is one that most comes into play. But you also see it in like the red zone. For example, there was a play, I believe it was week one uh, in Atlanta this year, where Riley Ridley had like this ton of open space in the end zone, but yet he literally ran right through a zone, simply because that's what he was probably told to do, was continue that route. Even though he had a ton of open space, it would have been an easy touchdown throw for Ryan. He ran right into the zone and forced trying to throw it into coverage. So, just something to, to think about. Oh, man. And it's okay, like, if you're taking a corner with you, like, if you're, like, running a uh, vertical route or whatever, and, like, you run through a zone, like, to, to attract the corner, like, deep, and, like, you're burning them, yeah, go ahead. But, like, it's more so an issue, like, when you're running an underneath route and you're sitting in the zone, you want to be a little bit more fluid with finding spaces between zones. And part of that will also come with experience also. That probably should have been an injection, to be honest. Uh, part of that will come with experience, too. 
and just being able to read and recognize defenses. Like, we saw that a little bit this year with Kenny Galladay uh, in Detroit. He kind of struggled a little bit to, to find those open spaces. That's the one thing that I kind of had a knock on him for. And you see that a lot with younger receivers. Oh, he was wide open. Oh, was already me. Ooh, nice elusiveness there. Really slippery. DeAndre Swift. And yeah, like this play here. If he just moves around here, like obviously this is a corner of some kind. I don't know if it's a post corner. Looks like just a straight up C route. But he doesn't necessarily need to go straight to the corner and sit there. Which, obviously, the ball was thrown. But if he just comes back inside. Hmm. Alright, uh, so... Missouri, South Carolina, or Kentucky. Let's actually take a look at his stats. And then we can just get a basic feel for which we should watch. And that way you guys can see his production too. Uh, for those of you guys who do care about the statistics aspect a little bit more. Uh, bowl game. Last five. Oh. Okay, uh, so here is his game-by-game -game stacks for those of you guys who want to see those. Uh, Austin P, 3 for 33. SC, 4 for 37. Only 1 for 12 versus uh, Middle Tennessee. 5 for 87, that's a pretty good game versus Missouri. Tennessee, Vanderbilt, LSU, Florida. Kentucky, 3 for 37. 1 for 19, 1 for 11, 2 for 9. Wow, what a weird stretch. Auburn, UMass, and Georgia Tech. He was a combined 4 catches for 39 yards. 49 yards. 3 touchdowns. Both of his catches in the Georgia Tech game were touchdowns. Huh. Oh, man. I want to see that Alabama tape. That'd be kind of fun to watch. Uh, let's go, knowing that, uh, we'll take the SC game. Oh, Missouri. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, And of course, for those of you guys who want to watch more after this, definitely feel free uh, to watch the rest of his games. There's also Alabama 17 tape. Okay, a little bit better job there of staying centered. I like how he stays in front of this corner, and then he moves, he uses that inside leverage to create that hole for the running back to run through. Much better blocking. Still probably his biggest weakness by far, though. That and finding that space in the in the field. Nice cut. That was a terrible decision from Fromm. Oh, he's wide open on this wheel route. That was a horrible decision from Fromm. He didn't read that outside corner. He thought he was following him or something. Probably would be my guess. Man, you have to throw that to Ridley. Oh, what a change of gear. Watch this change of, of direction here. Boom. Okay, so I'm actually going to slow this one down. Whoops.
There it was. Okay. Yeah, so here we go. I'm actually going to... Oh, this was the play before it. So. Yeah, this is the play where we had the lead down the field. Uh, right here. He has that hop step thing again, but he does, he does a really nice job with winning this inside cut. Boom, top gear, right? He slows down for this cut, he changes direction. And then he immediately picks it back up. Huh. I'll see you again from this angle. Now this is in slow mo, so it's going to be a lot slower. But you see him really do a nice job there. And then right here, he kind of takes this into he takes this down in gear to change to make, change this direction on this cut, and then he immediately just picks it right back up. That's really nice uh, shifting there, shiftiness. Yeah, just poor job of staying center, didn't even engage. I mean, I would actually call this one willing, based on what I'm seeing. Not even really engaging with guys. It's just completely whiffed. So, yeah, run blocking is a very huge issue for him. Nice. See, that was a good decision to sit that where he did with the head shroud. Nice job of avoiding the pressure there. And nice job. See, you kind of see a little bit more feel for space here. And his ability to cut this out because he's, he makes this cut at a really nice opportune time to create this maximum separation between the defenders. So that was much better. Okay, at least he got his body in front of him. Still not a great block, but kind of effort. Yeah, nice hitch cut. A little too much on the body catch, it looked like that time for me. Yeah, you can tell it definitely likes to hit his body. Uh, but of course, we have seen plenty of good hands catches from him, so I'm not really worried. Nice contested catch there. Don't really see that a lot from Ridley. Uh, most of his catches are because he created separation and got himself open. Uh, but here we see nice comeback, hitch, curl. Actually, that's beyond five, so that's a curl. Um, and just a really nice job of being physical at the catch point. So, good play on his part. And just, yeah, left on the block. Run blocking is very poor. Oh! What a catch! And again, for every poor block that he's gonna, he's gonna miss, he makes an insane catch. And better, yeah, he got both feet down and came back in. But, okay, so actually, I'm gonna slow this play down. Here, and let's watch his cut on this route. And I've already seen it, but I want you guys to pay attention to his cut here on this out. Right here, step. And you can tell he's about to make this cut out here, because that's his outside leg first. Boom! Just takes him completely around. And that was actually a nice recovery by the defensive back, to be honest. Uh, but... That's a great ball placement from Fromm. Only Ridley can catch it. Great catch from Ridley. Excellent body control. That's an impeccable body control. 
to keep his body in bounds, and even more so, his both of his feet, and then continue that play for a touchdown. Excellent, excellent play by Ridley. And this will be an even better view here. Watch this cut. Boom. Takes the outside step. Boom. And the corner actually does a really nice job of motoring back. And at least attempting to get back into the play. Okay, a little bit better job being there of blocking. And yes, it's even there. I mean, he just kind of throws his body into him. A little bit, like, throws his shoulder into him. And, like, very, very little, if any, blocking technique, and then he just lets the guy past him. I especially, now see, here's the one thing that is really annoying about this play from Ridley, is look at the situation. It's third, obviously, it's kind of not close, but regardless, it's, like, your own 15-yard, 16-yard line on a third and one. And for you to just kind of throw your shoulder into the guy... Uh, not really ever block at all. So, yeah, year one, you're definitely taking him out on blocking sets. No doubt about that. Uh, unless you do a lot of work with him uh, in in summer camp. Because uh, <laughs> he has a lot of work to do uh, in the blocking area. In fact, if I were, honestly, if I were the team that drafted him... What I would probably do is I would even just put him in O-line meetings or O-line coaches uh, and get him working with guys who are, are blockers. Uh, you know, tight end room, probably. And because his receiving skills, for the most part, as we've seen, are pretty developed. So he doesn't really need a lot of work on his route running compared to some of the other guys in this class. Uh, and he doesn't really need a lot of work with his hands. We saw, like, one or two bad drops, but... Um, for the most part, we've seen also really, really good hands catches. His biggest, really, really big area of improvement that he needs to work on is his blocking. And yeah, feel for space and stuff like that will kind of come with time and recognizing defenses. And that's something that you kind of have to, to grow with over or let him grow into. With blocking, it's just technique is not there and I don't know if it's effort I don't know if it's just poor coaching from Georgia which seems kind of odd but there's just so much missing with his blocking uh, at this point it's it's a really really big negative I mean, honestly, like, and you see it again there, it's just very, very little blocking. I mean, honestly, if, if he were playing for Detroit next year, I wouldn't even play on in run situations. Like, I would, it would be making the offense so predictable because he would only be on the field for passing sets. But yeah, then again, he makes those kind of catches. So, like, as a pure receiver, and a, a pass catcher, he's incredibly talented. He has all the tools. I mean, watch this body control. It goes up. I love how he high points this football. Does a great job of getting his hands up for it. Nice hands catch. Brings it in smoothly. I mean, excellent job of getting the foot down. In fact, he might even get the left foot. Yeah, he gets both feet down. That's an NFL catch. Like, so there's a lot of things to really, really love about his receiving ability. 
and his ability to make those high point catches, his ability to create so much separation and things like that. But his blocking is just so undeveloped and raw. Uh, you're going to have to put a lot of work with him. So if you draft Riley Ridley, you have to have a lot of faith in your blocking coaches who are going to be working with him at the next level uh, to be able to try and develop that aspect of his game. Um, but overall, as a receiver, I, I'm, I'm a really big fan of his in terms of pass catching uh, from the receiver position. So... Uh, there you go. Hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed this one part two of Receiver Blitz. Don't forget to check out the Tyree Brady video and some of the other receivers we've done. We've done quite a few receivers this year already. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Learned a thing or two. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Uh, and again, huge shout out to all you guys who have been checking out the other videos. Uh, hopefully you guys continue to come back and check out our new ones so with that uh thank you guys hope you have a great rest of your day we'll see you guys again soon with part three peace